Okay, hello everyone, it's Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and we've finally gotten the starter, di starter guide for Happy Chaos. And in my case, in Australia, he's coming out as a proper character in a few hours, so it's a little bit late, but this starter guide is amazing. I'm glad. <laughs> it's better late than never, because damn. Even though he's coming out soon, this starter guide has made me so excited for the actual character. He looks ridiculous and wicked and so weird. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's just go over the starter guide and look at every little thing they show us. So, yeah, obviously the main thing that we see about him is he's got this fire. Instead of Heavy Slash, where he can just fire his gun when he's in the firing stance, and he can just shoot it whenever, after any normal or just in the neutral. And he's got his own gun gauge and focus gauge. And instead of a Heavy Slash, he just has a projectile. Like, that is so ridiculous. It's such an, like weird way to break a character and make them so untraditional by just removing one of their buttons and making it an anytime instant projectile that is locks onto the opponent that's ridiculous chaos ready to run transitioning into a stage where he can perform fire when performed with a quarter six so into a stage where he can perform yeah so preface well, pressing heavy slash on its own just activates the state, but then when you press it when it's in the state, it just fires it. And pressing quarter for quarter circle forward slash um has a little bit of a hit when he activates it, so you can like use it for combos. Yeah. Which that's pretty awesome in itself. So he he launches the opponent really high in the air, just picking up his gun out of his pocket. And then in this state, I guess, yeah, from now, or from how high can the opponent be when he starts to shoot them? But like, yeah, look how high Soul is, and he can already start shooting him, so he can like shoot Soul now by pressing heavy slash, and then he can walk forward while he shoots, and then do his standing kick into 6k, and then shoot again, and then walk forward. This character is so ridiculous. I, I just don't understand how he's real. I can't wait <laughs> to actually get my hands on him. But yeah, he can't he can't block while he is holding the gun. I don't actually think he can even jump. Actually, no, he totally can. We saw that in the beginning part. But um, yeah, he can't block. So don't go too trigger happy. However, you can perform fire to instantly hit the opponent. The stance ends when you run out of concentration. Fire. Mm -hmm. So the stance slowly takes a little bit of concentration, but it doesn't really matter like being in the stance. That's such a little bit compared to how much the actual shots take of his concentration. Um, so I don't think that really matters at all. Yeah. Yeah, so... Firing rapidly will lower the damage of the gunshots and the accuracy, I guess, apparently. But, you know, if you wait like a second or so, or less than a second, but if you wait a little bit, it has a little bit more damage and is more accurate, so more likely to hit. But as we see, if the opponent's moving at all, like if they're even walking forwards, and obviously if they're dashing, or running, or back dashing, or jumping, it's totally going to miss them. So it's situational as to when the bullet will actually hit. Obviously, in his own combos, it's going to have a lot better accuracy, because if he hits the opponent, knocks him away, he's still going to hit them with the gun. But if the opponent is just jumping in the air and dashing, you're not just going to be able to snipe them out of the air instantly, out of his regular stance. Um, but if they do, you know, press something in the neutral, you can be like, bam, I was in my gun state, I punished you just because I press a button. <laughs> This, <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy watching this so much, but I watched this the first time I watched the trailer so many times. This little sequence he does, so he, he does 2k into shot into 2k 2d, but why does this look so cool? So look, that's so cool! Wait, actually wait, let me check that again. So was he in gun state already, or did he activate gun state during the combo? Yeah, I'm just going back five seconds. The sight expands, and the accuracy and damage decrease. Oh yeah, he activated it before he started. Or did he? Wait, 
Okay, so he's woken up. Woken up. Just goes into 2K. Then he starts to stand. So yes, you see that blue flash on him first before it starts to track onto the enemy. And then he fa Yo, so he can cancel his heavy slash, his gun stance, off of anything. I thought it would have been the same, you know, Gatling routes where he can only cancel into the stance from his, you know, slashes. Yeah, that's about it. But, you know, if he's in the stance already, then he can do his cancels from his kick or his punch or his dust or whatever. But he can just cancel into his heavy slash gun stance from anything from his 2K. So he just did 2K, gun stance, shot, run up, 2K, 2D. He gets this combo just whatever he wants to do a 2K. That's so amazing. So he just gets this, like, lo and even on block, that's going to be a whole pressure string and ended in a... 2D, so we can still keep going if it's on block. And he just gets that whenever he gets a 2K, that is so ridiculous, and I love it. The very most actions, with the exception of some situations and then the. <sighs> and then this. I'm putting this part in slow motion. So, run up, 2k, shot, so we're seeing this being on block, 2k, and then he does a dust this time, hits Sol, shoots him while Sol is still in the knock from the, the dust, so he's in the air, he gets airborne from the shot, shoots again, so he's used two bullets, I guess he was missing one, oh no, he's used three because he used the one in the block string, he's walking forward, and does a far slash that looks like... And just things like that. Here's another sequence later on that's w even cooler. Steady aim. Chaos steadies his aim, keeping the opponent firmly in his sight. You can perform a more powerful and accurate shot than during at the ready. Mm, and this is ridiculously awesome too. Ah, uh, so if he wants to be more committal with his gun, instead of cancelling into the regular gun stance where he can cancel just by doing, like, down heavy slash, and it's super safe, and he can do the shots whenever he likes. He can go into this intense stance, where he does, gets big damage from each shot, and he launches the opponent with each shot, and if they block it, it's a freaking guard break? Like, what? <laughs> That's so ridiculous. But in this stance, he can't walk around, or obviously block or anything, and he can't do all of his special moves. In addition to being unable to block, you also cannot perform jumps, movement and some special moves and it gets way better tracking as well that's just so cool the combo and we saw some really cool combos he can get from this in the trailer remember he did like a fast slash into the steady aim shot and it launched the opponent into the air then he did a roll into his 5k into something i don't remember but he can get epic combos off of this and like here he just keeps comboing the steady aim shots into themselves and look, it's just like the other stance as well if he does the quarterback slash in um, input for it. It knocks the opponent into the air, and then he can start shooting them. So he can just use it as a combo starter as well. That is so crazy. Look, he can just shoot them so many times. It already get that much damage for free. That is crazy. Yeah. So his regular gun stance is not that committal. He can move around, he can shoot whenever, and he can cancel it really easily and safely. And he can reload. Pretty cool. Now that, like, reload, yeah, sure, that's kind of cool. But the fact that he can choose how long he wants to reload for is really, really cool. Because whether, like, if you don't want to f do the full animation, if you're like, oh, crap, Soul's sliding it on me, or maybe Eno's doing a stroke of the big tree, or someone's going to punish me, or whatever, you can be like, oh, okay, never mind, back up, or jump away, or maybe I can fake them out, like, I'm reloading, and in the first few days, people are like, oh, he's reloading, I can punish him. And then you just press slash, and you counter them, that... That's going to be fun. After reloading one bullet. Focus. Chaos focuses his spiritual energy 
recovering a certain amount of concentration. So this is like a reload, but for his concentration. But it's a little bit cooler as well. His concentration will deplete at a slower rate for a set period. So it also activates this extra state where you can see his concentration gauge gets flaming, and that means it won't go down as much. So not only does it refill his concentration, it also gives him more, basically, because it doesn't deplete as quickly with each gunshot or with each stance. So that's pretty cool. Chaos will be vulnerable during this process, making it critical to time the usage of this move carefully. Having the um decreased de depletion of the concentration from that will actually be really, really helpful for his focused stance, or whatever he called that, where he has the orange reticule and has the launching gunshot, because that the main part of that stance was that it used his concentration really quickly and it depleted in like less than two seconds but when he's got the focus decreased depletion look you can see it's going down far slower now and he could probably get you know way more shots before he's out of concentration that is really really cool and he's got a roll as well <laughs> he's really channeling elfelt but i think people are loving him anyways So he's got a super low profiling role that can cross up the opponent, go under literally any mid projectile, basically, it seems like. And, as we see in this sequence here, let me put this in slow motion because I love doing it. Ah, Chotomate! I'm trying to put it in slow motion. Okay, it just wants to keep going? Sure. Nope. Let's watch it. Okay, no, it's all good. It's all good. Doesn't want to do it? Okay. A double of himself while retreating backwards. Placing this double costs a small amount of health. The double will vanish after a set amount of time or The health loss on this was not something I was expecting. And but luckily it seems like a really good shield as I was anticipating. It takes any hit and like just tanks it so happy chaos doesn't get have to get hit by it. But um it does take some of his health, which is kind of weird. Now, Curse seems really cool, and it's also evasive because it he like jumps away while he puts up the clone, so that's gonna be a really good way for him to, you know, reload or do his focus thing, and or just do a bunch of shooting, you know, whatever floats your boat. Now, this is also really cool. We didn't even see this in the trailer, but he has this orb that he can throw at the opponent to just like make them <laughs> easy to hit. See, look, so Sol walks forward, he misses. Sol's been hit by a curse, he never misses. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, and just like this guy said, because he jumps backwards when he releases the curse, it can be really good as an evasive thing as well, because he jumps back, and then the reticule's stuck on the opponent, so after he jumps back, and he's in his gun stance, he can just shoot whenever he likes, no matter what the opponent does, if they try to chase you down, if they dash up, if they jump, you're gonna hit them after the curse if you're in your gun stance, that's, that's crazy. But it will be punishable depending on when you do it, because it doesn't even hit the opponent at all, so you are just in a counter-hit state doing something for the hopes of being able to lock down your opponent with the gunshots. But when it works, damn, that looks ridiculous. Because <laughs> then they just can't escape. They can't dash, they can't jump. And... Uh, and just when he didn't look like he was cool enough, with all of his regulars, his special, ultimate, whatever, overdrives are is even cooler. So it's a projectile ultimate that tracks wherever the opponent is on the screen, does a decent chunk of damage, breaks the wall, and refills all of his bullets. As the what? At the, opponent's current position, the only thing that it's missing is being an invincible reversal, but I think that would make it too much. But that is a big deal that I heard people, you know, talking about, is that Happy Chaos doesn't seem to have any invincible reversal moves, no ultimate... Um, or just no DP in general, so he's in the boat with Zato, and as Leffen said, you've got to be really, really broken to be a character that does well without any invincible special move. So we'll see. The gunshot seems amazing, but only time will tell. So yeah, <laughs> kind of like Gold Lewis, when you get a wall splat from really, really far away, Happy Chaos, 
That is no problem, because Deus Ex <laughs> Machina, he can get an ultimate break on the wall, so he gets a hard knockdown from the overdrive wall break, and he can do it from literally anywhere, get a big chunk of damage, refill all of his bullets, get the hard knockdown. That's just a win, 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 win situation for Heavy Chaos. It's ridiculous. And then there's this ultimate, which we're like, oh, what does that do? But it's a focus recharge. We're like, oh, focus recharge, that seems kind of lame. And honestly, the focus recharge, it is kind of lame. Like, why wouldn't you just do the normal one? But. For a certain duration after activation, Chaos's concentration will decrease at a slow... So yeah, it's kind of just like a slightly better version of his regular focus, where it refills his focus gauge, except this one does it all the way, and he depletes even less when he goes into focus using... or concentration using things. But this is the juicy bit. It can work in a similar way to an RC. It's so fast that it can make his 2k, I mean his 6k and his 2d plus on block. Which is really ridiculous because he can use this in a situation, in, in a similar way that you would use an RC, a, a Roman cancel, and also use his focus special move, but it's in one one move. Because usually, you know, if he wanted to use his focus, maybe he could RC and then do his focus when he runs away. But you couldn't do your focus and get pressure in one sequence because the focus takes so much time, has so much activation and recovery. But this does them both in one, and it's a better version of the focus. And it's kind of tricky because it makes things plus on blocks, and it lets you get a combo. So it works very similar to, like, a purple RC. But it also refills his concentration. So he could have had like this ridiculously dumb sequence where he's like shot you three times, grabbed you, he's like shooting you again, now you're blocking, and you're like, oh crap, well now he's out of concentration, he can't really do that much. He does like a 2k 2d into his super focus, and you're like, oh maybe I can press buttons now. And then you go to press a button, then he hits you with another like 5k, 6k, and then he shoots you and then you get hit... And you're, then you're put in the wall, and then he deus ex machinas, and then he gets to refill all of his bullets, and you're in a hard knockdown. Holy moly, this character is ridiculous. Happy chaos can attack at any time, with some specific exceptions. Using Too good. Too good. Let's watch these last parts in... I won't do 0.25 speed, but let's slow it down a little bit. Just because we don't really understand what he's doing too much yet. It's new to the eyes. So what, he just did a slap. Already missed it all already. So, he does like a fast slash into a gunshot into a roll to get more pressure off of the gunshot instead of a combo. Then a 2k, 2d, gunshot again, then runs up. So I guess he's plus on block after the gunshot. He runs up, does another 2k, and then goes for the crap. Oh! Oh, this character! Oh my god. Then he goes for the reload on the wake up, and then cancels some of the reload into his jump back with the clone, because he thought, oh, maybe Giovanna will wake up with a DP, or maybe wake up, you know, drill kick or whatever. And he's like, okay, I'll just hide back here. Then he could do his focus while he's hiding behind the clone, or maybe he can just do more zoning. He doesn't really do anything in this situation. He's just hiding underneath it. <laughs> So he did a reload on a knockdown against Potemkin. Then he runs up, does a fast slash into his super focus. So he's plus on block like hell there. Does his 5k. Runs up. Because, you know, whenever he's in this stance, the opponent's going to be so scared. And his stagger game is going to be ridiculous. Because he does his 5k then. 5k is on plus on block, I don't assume. But Potemkin's like, oh, are you going to shoot me after you 5k? Or are you going to do 5k into dust and then shoot me? But then he just does nothing. So he can run up for free and then get a 2k 2d and then maybe shoot. And the opponent's just so scared to press anything at any time. <laughs> she just gets free pressure. It's amazing. Oh, okay. 5k and jump of instant air dash. Oh, so he shoots from the instant air dash, just like we saw with the roll, and when he rolls through the opponent and shoots them for the cross-up, he can also do it from the air. He, oh, he just has so many damn options. And then after he gets the cross-up and Potemkin's like, oh damn, I got crossed up. And then he runs in and goes for another grab for another layer of mix-up. Now he's in the corner. Oh. And then he gets a from the hard knockdown, he does his reload, then cancels some of the reload into his... Fast slash, and then you can see he's cancelling his fast slash into his heavy slash, 
which is his gun stance. So he cancels that into this. And now he's got the gun out, and now Potemkin's like, oh crap, you're gonna shoot me again. And he does. But this time Potemkin tried to hit a button, but the gun countered him. And now he just shot him again, goes in for pressure. Close, close slash, I think that was. He just did a knee. So I guess that's his close slash. I don't know what he PRC'd there, but he PRC'd into a, the scapegoat shield. And now he can just hide behind it, press a button. Get some pressure. I guess it's good to keep the shield at. Wow, the shield lasts really long, actually. I like his burst animation too. And look, look how good the tracking is on the um. What was that? The focused stun, the the the, the intense scope or whatever. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Down back slash. Anji jumps. It's stuck on him, and when he shoots him, he gets launched high into the air. And if he blocks, he gets a guard break. So. Oh, good. He could have shot again there, and he's dead. Put another clone. Hey, that's a cool clone animation. Oh, we see him cancel out of his gun stance here against Gold Lewis. So he's in his gun stance. He's trying to hit Gold Lewis, but Gold Lewis keeps moving. He keeps missing. So he jumps to there. He missed. Then he cancels his gun stance quickly just to keep himself safe in case he had to block that jump in. Now, this made a lot of people upset. This. What is Happy Chaos doing here? Is this his 6P? Is this his 6P? Is this tiny little headbutt his 6P? People think it is. And people are not happy. Because a bad 6P means a bad time. Just like poor Gold Lewis here, who has a bad, like, hitbox on his 6p i guess it hits high but ha got happy words happy chaos doesn't even look like it hits that high he just headbutts forward a little bit surely this is like his 5p maybe right right surely this isn't his 6p that's like the worst hitbox on a 6p i've ever seen dash over and that looks like is probably his jump heavy slash it looks like it crossed up and we see it hit a 6p so he does far slash and cancel it into the gun stance, into the shot, and then, yeah, <laughs> too good. Look at all these cool moves he has. Everyone else has like three special moves. This guy has a whole spreadsheet of special moves, and I'm excited about it. Let's just quickly look at the comments, but I know people are super happy. Love how he pulls up his shades when he activates his steady aim stance. Okay, I'm sorry, but I need to check that out. That's what it's called. Steady aim. Where was it? Here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oops. Ready, ready, ready. Pulls up his sunglasses so we can get a good look at the opponent because his weird cross sunglasses probably don't help with his aim and he's like, I've got my eyes on you now. <laughs> the combos, yeah, the combos are going to be crazy. This, but, and a ridiculous thing is that he can combo with his dust meterlessly. That is ridiculous. I think Zato is probably one of the only characters in the game that can do that. His moveset ties into the attitude of the character. Yeah, he is... He plays crazy, he acts crazy, he's <laughs> ridiculous, but also not really trying hard. It's very great. Let's focus by the limit on concentration. Dude just can't focus on one thing for too long. Why doesn't he have a Patimus Typhoon? Such a guilty character. Yeah, the scapegoat clones, we've only seen like five of the animations, but all of them have been so damn good. I love that they've put so much character into this character. That, that's a weird way of saying it, but he's got, he's got so much character. He's so unique and has so much energy in all his special moves. Even just his like clone, which is something that doesn't sound too exciting about a special move, but it has so much personality in it. Learn all of Happy's mechanics takes about 10 years. Forget about two seconds. Hey, that's the cycle. Just 
skedaddle skadoodle, I control the neutral. Yeah, especially in the focused... God, I forgot what it was called. Let me check what this guy said. Uh, um... Steady aim. Especially in steady aim, his skedaddle skadoodle, I control the neutral, the character. Because the opponent just can't get away from his reticule and they can just shoot at any time. Oh. So exciting. People seem to love him. I love him. He's coming out in a few hours. I'm probably going to love him even more then, but <laughs> yeah, I should probably end this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you soon, honestly. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.